I love hearing that people are trying to practice safe sex and are taking care of their sexual health. So it is super important when you are trying to prevent pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections that you sift through the myths and the misinformation that is out there on the internet. So today we are covering the most common myths about safe sex. So if one condom is good, two condoms is probably even better, right? Absolutely not. If you put two condoms together, they can actually rub and break each other. So there is a high risk of getting pregnant or getting an infection if you use more than one condom. Also important that you just look at the packaging to make sure you're using it correctly. Make sure you're storing the condoms right. Do not place them in something like a hot car where you can break down the condom and make sure you're using a new condom every time you have sex. Definitely don't try to make your own condoms out of plastic wrap. The only ones that should be dependent on to prevent pregnancy and infections are the ones you can actually buy in the store. The problem with plastic wrap, it can slip. It's not tested. We do not know that it actually works. Don't just use it. So if you're looking to prevent sexually transmitted infections and pregnancy, condoms are one of your best bets. And that's because it's one of the few methods that can actually prevent STIs. They may not prevent every single type of infection. For instance, there is something called human papillomavirus or HPV, which can be transmitted even from just skin to skin contact, even if you use a condom. So most types of sexually transmitted infections are not visible just by looking at someone. And that's the reason that we do testing for STIs because you may not be able to tell. And in fact, most people can't tell if a partner has STIs just by looking at their genitals or anything else. It depends on what you mean by safer sex. So it is true that you can't get pregnant from oral sex or anal sex, but you can definitely get a sexually transmitted infection from both. None of the birth control methods affect your long-term fertility including emergency contraception. All of the birth control methods work at the time that you're using them. They do not impact your long-term ability to get pregnant in the future. A lot of people do not understand the difference between emergency birth control and the abortion pill when they are absolutely not the same thing. The abortion pill ends a pregnancy that is already implanted in the uterus. Emergency birth control prevents pregnancy by preventing ovulation, just like every other type of birth control pill. So if you're taking emergency birth control, but you are already pregnant, it will not end the pregnancy. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this taught you something really helpful in terms of safe sex. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments for me. And if you want to learn more about women's sexual and reproductive health, make sure you subscribe to our channel.